Hey everyone, welcome to Collins Creatures. This in front of me is a dragonfly nymph that I have been raising. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about dragonfly nymphs and then explaining how I take care of it. But let's start off, what in the world is a nymph? Well, a nymph is the uh, larval stage of an insect, typically one that has wings, and the nymphs are aquatic and they will grow through instars before becoming an adult and leaving the water. The nymphs typically look like the adult insects just without the wings. So if you looked at a dragonfly nymph, it kind of looks like a dragonfly, just it doesn't have its four wings. So, where can you find a dragonfly nymph? Well, I actually got mine at a reptile show, but if you can't find one at a reptile show, you can find them in pretty much any still body of fresh water, where they will spend their time hiding in the dead plants, looking for food, and scooting around, away, hiding away from predators. Like all other invertebrates, Dragonfly nymphs grow through molting, or the shedding of their exoskeleton. And they grow through stages called instars, which are growth stages, where they get slightly larger and look slightly different as they get bigger. Mine has molted for me four times since I've had it, and it's much bigger than from when I first got it. And dragonfly nymphs can molt as few as seven, uh, seven times and as many as 17 times. And this will vary depending on the environmental factors on where they live. If they live some, somewhere where it is very warm and there's a lot of food, they will grow up very quickly. And if they live somewhere where it's cold and there's not a lot of food, they will grow slower, maybe even taking years to become an adult. The dragonfly nymph's final instar is their adult stage, which is when they will climb out of the water on a protrusion, like a stick, a cattail, or a reed, and then they will burst out of their exoskeleton as an adult dragonfly. So what are the things you need to take care of a dragonfly nymph? Well, the things in front of me and behind me are the basics that you need to take care of one. Behind me is a critter keeper already filled with room temperature water. And then I have some artificial vegetation for it to cling to and hide in because dragonfly nymphs don't like to be free floating in straight water. And then I have this rock, which the dragonfly nymph can also cling to. And it also acts as a stop for this stick so that if the dragonfly wants to climb out of the water to emerge as a adult, it can do so. So now let's set up the enclosure. One last thing for their setup, I noticed that there would be scum that developed on the top of the water, kind of like the scum that develops on the bowls of from water from my reptiles, which means I had to clean them out. And this is unsightly. Now, while I don't think it bothered the dragonfly, I didn't like the way it looked. So I then noticed that the water in my shrimp tank never developed the scum, and I think it's because the surface was always moving. So I put in a bubbler to keep the surface slightly agitated so that the scum doesn't develop. And it worked amazingly. Now what about feeding? Well, in the wild, dragonfly nymphs will eat small aquatic invertebrates, especially mosquito larvae, 
which they will hunt voraciously, and even as adults, they will continue to hunt the mosquito population. So they're great because they keep mosquitoes in check. In captivity, you can feed them whatever feeder you have on hand, whether it be small mealworms or small crickets, which is what I use, or maybe very, very small feeder fish, basically anything that the dragonfly nymph can take down and eat. And they do this by using their mantis-like uh, limbs as well as their jet propulsion to help them scoot around the water. So now let's put the nymph back in his home. So that is the dragonfly nymph. If I'm successful in getting this dragonfly to become an adult, I will do a video on that. I don't think I'll be able to prevent the dragonfly from becoming an adult, so I do have a backup plan. Once it becomes an adult, I will put it into this butterfly cage with a, a lot of things to climb on, as well as some food, so it can be an adult and fly around before it gets warm outside. So that is the Dragonfly Nymph. I will do a video on the Dragonfly Adult if it happens. So I hope you enjoy and I hope you learned a little something. I certainly learned a little bit while I was researching for this video. So thanks for watching, subscribe to my channel, like my videos, and I'll see you next time on Collins Creatures.